In today's video, we're going to learn about permutation for n objects involving identical objects as well as solving problems in self-exercise 4.4, question 1 until question 4. Let's get started. The number of permutations for n different objects involving identical objects is given by p equals to n factorial over a factorial times b factorial times c factorial and so on, where a, b, c and so on are the number of identical objects for each type, which means that if there's any identical object or repeated object, then we have to use this formula. Let's look at this example. Calculate the number of ways to arrange the letters from the word symbiosis. So first thing is to count how many letters are there in the word symbiosis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which means that we have 9 letters here. Okay, and then we have to see is there any repeat of the letters. So there are 3 S and there are 3 I's. So which means that we have to use the formula n factorial over a factorial times b factorial. So which is equals to, so 9 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So equals to, so we use the calculator, so we get the answer 10,080 ways. So that's the answer. Let's solve self-exercise 4.4 question 1. Determine the number of ways to arrange all the letters differently for each of the following words. So A, Corona. So the first thing is to count how many letters are there in the word Corona. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So which means that N is equal to 6. And then C, is there any repeat or not? So we have 1, 2, we have 2 O's. Okay, so which means that the number of ways will be 6 factorial over 2 factorial. And the answer is 360 ways. Okay, now let's solve for B. Malaria. Let's count how many letters are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 letters in the word malaria. And then we see is there any repeat of the letters or not. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So we have 3 A's here. Okay, which means the number of ways will be 7 factorial over 3 factorial. And the answer is 840 ways. Okay, let's solve for C. Hepatitis. Okay, let's count how many letters are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which means that N is equal to 9. Okay, and then we see is there any repeat of the letters or not. So we have 2 T's. So 2 T's. Okay, and then we have 2 I's. Okay, is it here and here? Okay, so we have 2 I's. Okay, which means that the number of ways will be 9 factorial over 2 factorial times with 2 factorial. And the answer is 90,720 ways. Okay, let's solve for D. Schistosomiasis. So let's count how many letters are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there are 14 letters in the word schistosomiasis. And then next, we see is there any repeat of the letters or not. So let's count for S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 S. And now what else? We have I, right? I, 1, 2, and 3. So we have 3 I's. And then here, O and O. So we have 2 O's. So the number of ways will be 14 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And the answer is 60,540,480. Ways. And that's the answer. Let's solve question number 2. There are 5 blue pens and 3 red pens in a container. Find the number of ways to arrange all the pens in one line. So we have 5 blue pens and 3 red pens. So blue, 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 blue. And red, red, red. So there are how many pens here? Total, we have 8 pens. And then, there's a repeat of 5 blues and we have 3 reds. Okay, so if there is any identical objects, we have to use the formula which is n factorial over a factorial times b factorial. So the number of ways will be 8 factorial 
over 5 factorial times with 3 factorial? And the answer is 56 ways. And that's the answer. Let's look at question number 3. There are 4 white flags and 6 yellow flags inside a box. Find the number of ways to attach the flags in a line on a vertical pole. So this question is very similar to question number 2. So we have 4 white flags, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then we have yellow flags, we have 6 yellow flags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total number of flags will be 4 plus 6 is 10. And then there's a repeat of 4 white flags and 6 yellow flags. Which means you have to use the formula which is n factorial over a factorial times b factorial which is equals to 10 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 factorial and the answer is equals to 210 ways and that's the answer let's look at question number four find the number of odd numbers that can be formed from all the numbers 3 4 6 and 8 with all the numbers other than 3 appearing exactly twice which means that 3 only appeared once and then the rest all appeared 2 times 6 6 and 8 8 so here we have 7 digits so we're going to form odd numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then to form odd numbers it must end with an odd number so from the list here 3, 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, we only have one odd number, okay, which is 3. So here, we 1, P, 1, way, okay? And then the rest of the remaining slots, okay, is going to be for 6 digits. So these 6 digits will be 6 factorial, but because there's a repeat of 4, okay, and 6 and 8, so therefore, we're going to divide it by 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So, we times with 1P1, and the answer is equals to 90 ways.